This is Call of Duty Black Ops 3. It is known for having realistic gunplay. Alexandra Giesman shows us some of the popular video games she sells in her Seattle shop. Um, and Giesman knows that sometimes players play too much. Video games can be very drug-like. You just get that like instant satisfaction. I definitely have interacted with people that I think that should stop. Charlie Backey was one of those who needed to stop and came here to do it, where outdoor chess replaces online mayhem. He was gaming 12 to 16 hours a day. It was like it hijacked my instincts. You know, it, it put gaming on the same level as eating. This is Restart Life, the first treatment program in this country to specifically target video games and internet addiction. I was planning suicide. Um, I had lost my career in real estate. To escape from the gaming addiction? Yeah, yeah, I didn't know what to do about it. I was totally hopeless. Pickle the here. addiction remains, he says, and is a matter of daily battle. It's a six to eight week live-in program. All personal electronic devices are locked away. One phone call per week is the suggested maximum on the house landline. Physical fitness is a big part of treatment as patients look for new ways to fill the time gaming used to eat up. The cost, $25,000 per person. But the American Psychological Association doesn't yet recognize video game obsession as a full-blown addiction, calling it instead a disorder that needs further study. Co-founder and chief clinical officer Hillary Cash believes that needs to change and will. It just opens the door because everyone can say, okay, this is a real thing. Yeah, we need to study it. We need to take it seriously. We need to do something to mitigate it. The $91 billion a year video game industry isn't going away, and other countries, notably China, South Korea, and Japan, have been quicker to recognize the dangers of obsessive gaming and commit resources to research, treatment, and early education. Alexandra Giesman, a gamer her entire life, says she knows when to step away and knows that some who can't need help. I think any sort of treatment center for any sort of addiction is great to have around. Whether defined as full-blown addiction or just a mental disorder, there is digital detox for it here at a price. Alan Choffler, Al Jazeera, outside Seattle, Washington.